Hail and welcome. This is IWAS Initiations. I'm your host, Matt Sargent. Being that this is the introduction, this is challenging because there's a lot of information I want to share. And I'm passionate about it. And it's, it's, I, there's, it's impossible to cram everything into one episode. So you're going to have to st- stay along, subscribe. That way you're notified of updates. We'll have videos every, every Friday, every Freya's day because I want you to have abundance in your life. That's part of what this channel about is about. It's, uh, you could maybe summarize it as gardening for heathens, but it's so much more than that. Why Iowa's initiations? Well, if you look at the Iowa's rune, it's the yew tree. A lot of people say that it is Yggdrasil connecting heaven or earth with the heavens. Um, if you're familiar with the Norse cosmology, you'll know that uh, the roots of Yggdrasil go way past Earth and they, they go into the deeper realms connecting us with the dwarves and the ancestors all along this mighty true tree of Yggdrasil. Some people debate whether Yggdrasil is a yew or an ash. Um, that doesn't matter in this context. The bigger thing is uh, looking to grow as that yew does. And in order to grow, we need to have deep roots and that'll allow us to access divine realms such as Asgard or Alfheim um, but in order to have deep roots and connect to earthly and ancestral knowledge you have to have good soil we're at a point in the earth's history where whether or not you believe in climate change that doesn't really matter as far as this but we know that humans are having a negative impact on the planet um, on Midgard and it's up to us to save it if you uh, watch uh, this video, How Wolves Change Rivers, or this other video, and I can't remember its title, but it's basically about how whales uh, create trophic effects on their environment, you would think as humans, as an apex species, we should be having beneficial multi-tiered effects on our environment. Instead, when you look at it, we're, we're having the exact opposite. We're causing habitat destruction, um, habitat loss, we're polluting the world. And by embracing the ideals and the principles that we'll go over in the coming months and the different seasons of Iowa's initiations, I'm gonna teach you how to not only grow spiritually, um, but how to also create abundance for yourself and your family and abundance for the natural communities that shelter and provide for us. And the primary way we're gonna do this is by gardening and gardening with an ecological um, approach. So be sure to subscribe, that way you get all the um, updates as we progress with our weekly videos on Friday, Freya's day, um, because we'll be showing you how to design and build an ecological garden and showing you how that honors the land by not only producing for you, but doing so in a manner that provides habitat and ecological benefits, how it honors your ancestors by growing food the same way they did, growing medicine and using the same medicines that allowed them to overcome ailments and illness, which allowed you to exist at all, and how doing all this also honors the gods. And as you develop this ecological garden, spend time in it, you will find a deeper connection with the spirits of the land, your ancestors, and the gods. Until next time, blessings be with you.